Wow, you smell really fancy today. Got a date? Thanks, and never. Smells like the Middle East kind of thing. I can already smell the comments. Please go away. How about I just sniff your hair in silence? Pretty please. Fine. Greetings and welcome to the clan. My name is Aries, and today I'm reviewing Cairo by Penhaligans. Let us take a look at how they introduce this scent. The sun rising over Cairo brings warm saffron spice. Soon, all is life. The muscana rose and lavender bloom over sensual patchouli. The city's outer perfume is ancient, but born anew each day. But is Cairo actually in the Middle East? The warmth of laudanum and vanilla blends beautifully with the roundness of rose and the softness of incense and sandalwood. Cairo was launched in 2019 and created by perfumer Christophe Reynaud. Thank you for blessing our noses. So, what exactly does it smell like? This is what I meant by Oriental done right, a full-bodied, smoky, sweet, woody scent. You could first pick out the saffron and sweetness of vanilla, followed by a blast of rose. You would never imagine Damascus rose smelling so rich and lush. It is almost parchment-like, and the smokiness of cedar is deep and mysterious. It smells like honeyed roses on a bed of saffron and woods. For some reason, I am getting wood from Cairo, although it's not a lizard note. No, it smelled like the Japanese incense that you burn. Is this what you call silence? I'm just being right. <sighs> this to me is what a man wears double-breasted suits and looks good in it would wear. I could also see a woman wearing striking dark red lipstick wearing Cairo. It speaks power, warmth, and confidence. Do you mean some guy who gets called boss all the time in Dubai? Well, he must be a well-dressed one. And like woman of power. Not like girl boss, but lady boss. You made it sound so down to earth, but yeah. So Cairo is intense, and its few sprays could go a long way. Its longevity is eternal. It could easily last twelve hours on skin and days on clothing. Its flow is not enormous in the sense that it is not as far as、uh, let's say salvage. It's loud but just right if you are modest about how much you apply. Again, I recommend going with just a few sprays. Can I say something about Sauvage? Yeah, why not? It's the only perfume you recognize on someone else. It is the first time I'm actually being choked instead of choking someone. This is too much information. Anyway, if you think Oriental, most often the wood and rose pairing is brought up. Cairo and Halfati are often compared side by side. If you smell them back to back, you would find them quite different. Although they are both rose and wood scented perfumes. In my opinion, Halfati is more romantic and gender neutral. Cairo is sweet, more masculine leaning, and grand. They evoke a very different mood to the wearer. Let me sniff it. I'm curious. Actually, I would like your opinion. Give me a second. There you go. Put half fatty on yourself, please. What do you think? Yours is like way spicier, and mine is like mysterious. I would sleep with both of them if they take me to dinner. They would pay without me asking. Okay, I think only people with a taste for sophistication and have the money to spend would purchase a perfume like this. You just subconsciously catch on that. I did. Just take credit for it. Also, this is like on the pricier side of perfumes. I think it is over two hundred pounds. What? Mine is fifty. Lord of Misrule? Yeah. Who would spend that much on a perfume? Ask the clan. Would you spend two hundred pounds on this perfume? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you soon.
But is Cairo located in the Middle East or not? Yes. I knew it. <laughs>